Welcome back, Captains. We're down here at the New Smyrna boat ramp, and we're going to be watching this blue boat here today. In the meantime, let's check out what's going on around the ramp here. Today's a little bit more busier than normal, and the tide's moving pretty quick. Well, there he is, already doing the whiskey throttle in reverse. Check him out. Now, this guy in the white boat here, he's just trying to get out of this mess. He doesn't want any part of it. He pushes on through. Now everything seemed to be going smooth out here. He's just going in reverse, doing the Smyrna back up there. And y'all need to stick around, because what y'all about to see, you wouldn't believe it. Well, they get this bad boy up on the ramp there, push it right on in, nice and easy. But if you look over in the left-hand corner over there, that guy on the blue boat, he's over there docking that thing up against the oyster beds right there. Now they're going to be tying up, and I thought everything was smooth and clean here. I ran over here to my car to grab something. Next thing I know, there's this boat floating down the water here. Check this out. Now he's getting this thing tied up here, trying to get this thing maneuvered. No one knows who boat this is, except for me. Now he's trying to get this boat tied up so it doesn't get tangled up under the bridge over there. But it ain't working too well. I think it's there. I think it's hers coming up. And that's me in the Tampa Bay hat. I figured I could throw a hand in here since everybody says I don't ever help out. My wife took over the camera. And then we're going to see if we can't get this boat out and around here. Now I don't think anybody else was jumping on board so I decided to. Now he got this thing tangled up in the mangroves and the rocks over here, so I had to jump on board and check it out. We'll see if we can get it. Now I hop on the boat over here to help rescue it, because still no one's coming around trying to tell us whose boat this is. Now, I didn't want him to untie here because I needed to get this boat off these rocks and I don't want to go forward or backwards because I had no maneuver room. Pull that power pole up just a little bit, get it away from the rocks over there. And I had trouble finding the key. It was actually up on the top. And the original guy that came out and helped me here, he came back over here so we could tie this and pull it right off the rocks here without having to have any more damage to the boat. Now the original guy that brought me over the boat, he hooked me up here and tied me up so that way I can get off of this rocks. Now you can see this other boat over here, he's doing circles out here, just right in the way of everything. Now everybody on the dock's trying to figure out whose boat this is, but this guy still hasn't come back. We finally find him. Now he's sitting here watching me in his boat, he ain't coming down. He tries to tell me to go to the other side over there, and I'm like, no, come right over here. I don't know where any of his lines are, fenders, or anything like that. Start digging around in someone else's boat. Just come get your boat. Damn, it ain't that hard. I 
I want his hands on it when I come up to the dock here. I ain't playing games with this. It literally took him this long to come down to the dock. I don't understand what this guy's problem is. So I'll take a little joyride in it here and just do a little loop-de-loop. Maybe he thought I was going to put it on the trailer. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could have, but... So if you're wondering what happened, he put this boat up on the oyster bed sandbar over there, put the power pole down, but he didn't put the power pole down either far enough or it didn't stick. We're still fighting with him to come over here to get to this dock. He finally comes down here and helps get this thing up here because I want to give it right back to him. Let him get in his boat and get it. He says thanks. How does this? One behind you, one behind you. Man. He backs that thing all the way back over to where he was just at and puts it in the same spot. I guess in all that commotion there, he didn't have time to go get his trailer. So he's in round two of this. Yeah, next to that Key West boat, he wanted me to put that boat over there somehow or another. And there's so many boats around there. This ain't my boat. Just come get your damn boat. Oh, there he goes. He's got this thing tied up now. I guess he's using some line. with a little bit of a struggle bus getting back in his boat. Wait, you can see over there next to the trophy emblem there, he's got himself one of them trophy scratches. He comes in here with some authority. And then says, just kidding. There he goes. Well, that's it for that one there. He's put it on there and safe and sound. I want to thank all my subscribers and the channel members for what you guys do. Thanks for supporting me. I appreciate it. We've got some more videos coming. These hurricanes tore us up. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing. I'll see you again soon.